Hello, my name is Lee Edwards and I'm running for re-election as a trustee of the Jones Library and its branches, the North Amherst Library and the Munson Memorial Library. I have three principal reasons for seeking re-election to this position. First, it would be an honor and a privilege to be able to carry on working with the other trustees, the library's director and her stellar staff to enable the library to continue to serve as the cultural and civic center of the town of Amherst. As such, the library makes materials, services, and programming freely available to every member of the community. But because of both the constraints imposed by COVID and the inherent li limitations of the current building, the conditions under which the library provides these services are currently quite challenging. I have joined with the other current trustees in supporting the staff's initiatives relative to coping with COVID and in moving forward with plans to renovate and expand the library's physical plant. Secondly, I have a particular ongoing interest in working with the Friends of the Jones Library to continue developing an enduring structure and set of practices for robust private fundraising that will provide reliable and sustainable support for the library's financial needs. It is not uncommon for libraries to rely on such support, nor is such reliance a sign of budgetary weakness. It's important to remember that after all, the Jones Library came into existence because Samuel Minot Jones, a private donor, provided the funds that paid for the building's initial construction and an endowment whose growth and interest contribute substantially to the library's operating budget every year. Donations to the annual fund not only enabled the library to broaden its range of services and programs, but equally importantly, they create a supportive community dedicated to the library's ongoing well-being. Which brings me to my final reason for seeking re-election as a library trustee. As I said before, the library building in its current form is woefully inadequate. It's simply too small to address the needs of its current constituency, much less the larger one that's projected for its future. It's inaccessible to those with physical difficulties. It's confusing to those whose first language is not English and for those who enter the building not already knowing how the library operates and where to access services. The children's department is unfortunately divided among three different levels. Teen space is cosmically inadequate. Some of the most beautiful portions of the historic building are currently off limits to the public because they must be used to accommodate staff and internal library needs. The current building is energy extravagant and relies on fossil fuels. These deficiencies can only be remediated by a thorough and thoughtful renovation and expansion of the library's physical plant one that respects the beauty of the original building, but re-engineers the building's materials and internal systems in a sustainable and ecologically respectful manner in order to serve the entirety of Amherst's future community as well as it has served its past. Funds to support this anticipated renovation and expansion will be secured through a joint effort divided among the town, the state, and private fundraisers. The state has already pledged more than $13 million if the voters approve the town councilor's approval of the project, the town will provide a little over $15 million in actual support. The remaining costs will come from a variety of other sources, but substantially through private fundraising via a first ever Jones Library capital campaign. As I have said, I have a particular interest in enhancing the library's capacities in this direction. And as I began by saying, it has been an honor and a privilege to have been a part of all these efforts during my current term as a library trustee. It would be an honor and a privilege to be able to advance these priorities were I able to continue to serve. I thank you for your consideration and your vote.